Astoria is bustling with new growth and productivity, and some tycoons are ready to make their fortune on the ever-growing market. Welcome to Raccoon Tycoon! Raccoon Tycoon is a resource management game for two to five players from Forbidden Games. Players will take on the role of tycoons trying to make their fortunes by buying and selling commodities, gaining control of railroads and towns, and buying up buildings. Will your forested friends find fortune, or will your woodland creatures go without? Let's find out in Raccoon Tycoon! Place the board in the center of the table within reach of all players. Separate the six types of commodities and place them near the board. Place one of each type of commodity on the starting values of their corresponding market. Wheat and wood will start at $1, iron and coal will start at $2, and goods and luxuries will start at $3. Shuffle the price and production cards and deal three cards to each player. Give each player $10 as their starting money and place the rest near the board. The railroad deck will change depending on the number of players you have. If you are playing a 5 player game, leave all the cards in the deck and shuffle as normal. If you are playing a 4 player game, remove the Skunk Works railroad cards. If you are playing a 3 player game, remove the Skunk Works and Tycoon railroad cards. If you are playing a 2 player game, remove the Skunk Works, Tycoon and Sly Fox railroad cards. Once you have removed the necessary cards and shuffled the deck, place the pile face down on the indicated space and reveal two cards face up. The town card deck has four cards of each victory point type, two through five. Shuffle the five value cards and place them face down on their indicated space. Then do the same for each of the other values, placing them on top of the previous value. Then reveal one card face up. If you're playing a two player game, Remove one town at random from each victory point value. Shuffle the six basic commodity buildings and randomly place four of them plus one side up on the indicated spaces at the bottom of the board. Place the other two back into the box. Shuffle the rest of the building tiles, including the double-sided machine shop and water mill, and place them in a face-down pile on the indicated space next to the four already revealed commodity tiles. Randomly choose a starting player, place the starting player marker in front of them. The starting player will get to take one commodity of their choice. The second player will take two different commodities of their choice, and so on. If your game included the Kickstarter stretch goal mission cards, deal two face down to each player. Players will choose between the two secret missions and put the other in the box. Now you are ready to play. During your turn, you can choose one of five actions. Production, sell a commodity, railroad auction, purchase a building, or purchase a town. Price and production cards are made up of two parts. The top of the card will show the pictures of the commodities that will go up in market price. The bottom of the card will show pictures of the commodity tokens you earn for playing the card. You can only earn three commodities at a time, which may mean you will have to choose which ones you will take. For example, this card will raise the market price of iron and luxury, and I can take wood, iron, coal, and goods. Because I can only take three at a time, I will choose to take wood, coal, and iron, and not goods. If you have a commodity bonus or production building, their effects will come into play during the production action. Commodity bonuses give you extra commodities when you take the production action. For example, because I have the plus one wood building, when I take my commodities, I will also gain one wood. Production buildings allow you to take more commodities during the production action. That means instead of only taking three from this production card, if I have this production building, I can take all four commodities. You do have a storage limit of 10 commodities. If you exceed 10, you must immediately discard the tokens of your choice to get back down to 10. This limit is increased by 1 for each building you have, and by a total of 4, 3 for the plus 3, and 1 for the building itself, if you have a warehouse card. Selling commodities is one of the main ways to make money in Raccoon Tycoon. To sell a commodity, choose a single commodity from your storage, from one to all, and return it to the supply to receive the cash value shown in the market. Then move the marker down the number of commodities you sold. For example, wood is currently on the market for $8. I can sell my five wood for $40, then move the wood marker down five spaces. The market price for wood would now be $3. Select one of the two railroad cards available and begin an auction by bidding the starting amount listed on the bottom right hand corner of the card. 
In turn, players will increase the bid until all but one player has passed. Once you have passed, you cannot bid again. The highest bid wins the railroad card, pays the bid, and places the railroad card in front of them. Then, the empty spot is refilled by flipping a new railroad card face up. If you started the bid but did not win the auction, you may take another action including starting another auction. If you started the bid and won, your turn is over and play continues to the next player. Select one of the four tiles that are face up and pay the cost shown on that tile. Then place that tile in front of you. A new building is taken from the face down building stack and placed in the blank spot. The commodity building tiles and the machine shop watermill tile are double sided. You can upgrade these to the plus two side by paying the cost shown on the plus two side of the tile. You can purchase a town car by paying either the number of specified commodity or pay the number of any commodities indicated on the card. For example, if I wanted to purchase this town card, I could pay two wood or four of any commodity. If you choose to pay with any commodity, it does not have to be all of the same commodity. The game ends when either the last town card is purchased or when the last railroad is auctioned. Continue the round until the player to the right of the first player finishes their turn. You earn victory points in four different ways. Your town cards, your railroad cards, each building, and every railroad and town pair. The town cards have their victory point total indicated in gray in the center of the card and can score between two and five points. Railroad cards earn points in sets. For example, I have one Big Bear Railroad and four Top Dog Railroad cards. My Big Bear will be worth three points total. My Top Dog Railroad will be worth 23 points total because I collected all four of the cards. Each building that you own is worth one victory point. Each town and railroad pair that you own is worth two points. For example, I have two town cards and five railroad cards. This gives me two pairs and a total of four points. If you have the mission cards, don't forget to add those in now as well. Whoever has the most points wins. In the case of a tie, the player with the most money is the winner. And that's Raccoon Tycoon.